Ladies and gentlemen, dive into NEO Cutting Edge Semi-Solid State Battery, offering over 650 miles per charge and its potential impact on the U.S. market. Today we're talking about NEO and their new Semi-Solid State Battery. So stay tuned because in this video, I'm not only going to tell you that NEO is a good buy in the stock market and what its current price is, but also that NEO is the future and an excellent choice for EV vehicles. I just want to make it clear that I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. I'm simply trying to help you understand the basics, the technicalities, and the market trends better. Ultimately, it's up to you to decide where and how much of your money to invest in stocks. Solid-state batteries differ from liquid-state batteries because they are solid while the latter are liquid, and they keep the cathode and anode separate. They have higher energy density, meaning they can hold more capacity and deliver more power output at a lower weight. They also have a longer lifespan. They can endure more charging and discharging cycles without degrading the battery. There are three advantages of solid-state batteries over liquid-state batteries. First, higher energy density means they can store more energy and provide longer range in a smaller, lighter battery. Second, longer lifespan means they can be charged and discharged more times without degrading the battery. And third, rapid charging. Solid-state batteries enable faster and more efficient ion transport which helps charge the battery quickly without damaging it. Toyota and Honda have already announced that they are moving towards incorporating solid-state batteries into their consumer vehicles by the end of this decade. This is happening in the next five to six years. NEO is already working on this, and it's not just doing this work, but they are also incorporating it into their power swap technology stations, where you can rent the new solid-state battery for old NEO models as well. The new ET7 is already taking pre-orders. This time frame is from April 16, 2024, and they are expected to start delivery by at least April 30, 2024. This new solid-state battery will work with old and previous models. CEO William Lai has said that with some easy updates to the old car, you can go to the charging station and rent the new solid-state battery by pressing a few buttons. This way, you can cover even more distance in your NEO. But the question is, what difference does the distance make? Well, the difference in distance is quite astonishing. In fact, the CEO has said that the range of this battery is more than 1,000 km or 665 miles on a single charge, which is the highest of any EV manufacturer in the world. The tested battery life is wetting 70 km, which is more than 650 miles on a single charge. The first smart electric car with a range of over 1,000 km or 650 miles on a single charge. NEO conducted three real-world tests on the ET7, all of which used the new 150 kWh solid-state battery. One car achieved 665 miles, the second achieved 650 miles, and the third achieved 660 miles, averaging 655 miles per battery. NEO faces some issues such as import taxes in the USA, so NEO does not go there. They do not export to the USA or Canada. Another issue is that France has removed all tax incentives or rebates on Chinese vehicles, meaning there are no discounts, tax breaks, or credits on imported vehicles in France. Such issues cause losses for NEO. However, the sector environment is unfavorable. EVs are generally struggling. NEO is currently below because the sector environment is unfavorable, and it is low compared to the demand for EV supply and cost. Gas prices could reach up to $455 per gallon, maybe even higher, which will significantly impact one particular thing, the demand for EVs like NEO. NEO leaves Tesla and every other EV manufacturer behind in China, and they have autonomous driving capabilities similar to Tesla. But from what I've read and researched, it seems that they might be better than Tesla. The reason being Tesla shares were so high in 2020 and 2021 because of the pandemic. There was a lot of pump and dump and stocks were overvalued. And in 2022 and 2023, we saw many shares slide and enter a recovery phase. There was a lot of bearish sentiment, 
which didn't turn out to be true around four to six months ago. Around September, October, close to the 23rd, it became apparent that the correction was starting to come back because last year's summer was very bad. However, the last few months of 2024 have been very good. The issue is that Tesla shares are only between $150 and $170 at the moment, mainly because they are a data acquisition company. Neo Electric Infrastructure is better than anyone else in the world, and their upcoming semi-solid state battery implementation will only prove this further. With Neo Power Swap technology, their infrastructure, and the new solid state battery, it's clear that Neo Electric vehicles are paving the way. They are forging paths of new thinking and progress. Tesla cleared the path with data acquisition, but NEO seems to be paving the way for many different things like autonomous driving, battery technology, and creating a modular system where the battery can be swapped in at least three minutes. If only NEO could bring their cars stateside. But I think all of this is happening because NEO wants to implement its power swap system in the United States by the end of 2025. If they can also import their cars to the United States during that time, it will be very beneficial for NEO. Another important analysis for NEO is that we should expect to see more profit in the upcoming earnings report. In comparison, NEO 150 kilowatt hour semi solid state battery is equivalent to Rivian Max Pack, which is currently in R1T pickups, offering a range of 410 miles making it the longest range EV pickup truck in America. The NEO ET7 has achieved a range of over 650 miles on a single charge. According to NEO CEO, William Lai, this battery pack has the highest density in mass production and also boasts excellent safety performance. All right, let's move forward and discuss NEO technicals and fundamentals. You'll notice that NEO has found support at $4.50, then another at $415, and then at $4. $4 seems to be a significant resistance point. And now we have another support zone at $3.70. It started from $3.71, went up to $4.09, then dropped to $3.79, and is now coming back to $3.80. Hopefully, NEO earnings report will be better this time. In the last earnings report, they missed by 6 cents. The research estimate was negative 34 cents. In reality, this time they reported negative 40 cents. The next estimate is negative 31. If they just meet the estimate, NEO could see a slight increase. But if they exceed expectations, I hope NEO could go up to $4.50 or $5, maybe even more, and we might remain stable at those $4.50 or $5 prices. Earnings reports are coming out on May 29th, so I strongly advise looking at the bottom line of this stock and considering getting involved beforehand. But if NEO doesn't meet the estimate and incurs losses in the next earnings, it's hard to say. I've watched Stranger Things. The stock price could still rise, but it seems more likely to stabilize and possibly go further down. I don't expect it to happen, though. However, NEO has a positive net cash flow of $2.173 billion, although they are not making a profit because their net income is negative. The company cash flow, on the other hand, is positive. There could be several ways to approach NEO. Simply buy the stock and then sell covered calls on it to collect some money back by gathering juicy premiums. Another approach could be selling puts. Go out a week and we could choose the $3.50 put that's there, collect a juicy premium of $5 on the stock. And we could do that for a few weeks. And then when we get assigned, we subtract the premiums we've collected from the strike price we got assigned to. So in this case, we're collecting $5 on $3.50. So our break even becomes $3.45. And of course, we keep collecting that premium every week until we keep rolling it. If NEO drops, we roll it out and down to $3. That way we can get into a better price. But if NEO goes up and you need to assign, you'll have to buy that contract back and then buy shares or roll it up so you can get assigned at a higher price. Another way could be buying a deep in the money call. Let's go out to January 2025, for instance. 
we can sell covered calls against this position. Our broker will allow us to do that. So we'll click on the $4 covered call, which is $8. So we'll collect about $8 premium on this contract every week, which is about $32 a month. If we have to roll up as the price goes up, we'll still get roughly the same amount every week for the call contracts. If we count $8 for four weeks, that's $32. That's $320 for 10 months. So we can gather $320, which is 10 months premium. And we look at the $2.50 contract that we bought at $175 or $180, let's say $180, so we gathered $320. Bring out the calculator and say if we're not getting $8 every week, but only $6 when selling covered calls. So $24 times 10, that's $240. Subtract the $180 we spent on the call. We're still in a $60 profit. Now we can exercise this contract for $250, $2.50 per share, minus $60. So we're left with $190 or $1.90 per share. So if we buy a $2.50 call option and sell short position call options against it, or sell covered calls every week for the next 10 months, adjusting up or down as needed, we'll end up with $1.90 per share or $190 for 100 shares in NEO. This is the best strategy because it works wherever NEO goes. If NEO goes to $7, we'll just adjust our $6 call option that we sold to $7. If the share price goes to 10, we'll extend for a few more weeks and extend it to $11. We'll keep doing this and keep collecting more premiums. So by the end of the 10 months, we would have gathered roughly $250 to $350 in premiums and earnings volatility and news and such catalysts. But we'd have subtracted the money spent on this call contract. So far, we're at least $50 to $100 or maybe even more in profit. And wherever NEO goes, we can use this contract at $2.50. Meaning, whether NEO goes to $10, $20, or even $100, it doesn't matter. We'd still have the stock somewhere between $1.90, roughly $1.90, and $225. So this is indeed a very good strategy. Actually, it might be the best strategy. If the stock goes down, we can just cash out and make even more money by going down and taking short positions or covered calls and then we'd only incur a little loss on this call contract because our maximum loss is $180, about $400 instead. Watching the EV market and what's happening with various EV manufacturers in the United States and worldwide. The future looks bright for NEO, not just as an EV manufacturer, but also with new technology. It's really disheartening to see a company with so much vision and passion, with such impressive technology, and truly everything you could hope for or expect from an EV company, like PowerSwap, where you can switch batteries and get a range of 650 plus miles from a single charge. They've already implemented solid state battery technology in their cars, and their cash flow is positive. So you really have to ask yourself this question. What if I invest in NEO now, and I incur a loss of a dollar or maybe $1.50 per share? Rather, if I don't invest in NEO and the share price doubles to a dollar or two dollars or even more in the next six months, would I be okay with missing out on that potential profit? NEO is not just an ordinary EV company. It has innovative power swap technology. They also have battery swap stations, and with this new battery technology, their cars can reach a range of over 650 miles on a single charge, and they're also trying to implement 2,000 power swap stations in the United States by the end of 2025, indicating that their cars will likely arrive in the United States in the near future. And when that time comes, NEO stock will likely soar rapidly. Thank you for joining us today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more stock predictions and market insights. Remember to turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. Happy investing, and see you in the next video.